Hey, what's up guys? Kyle here. So today, I am going to be reviewing and ranking 15 albums that I have listened to. So guys, please try to remember that this entire video is just my opinion. Um, I don't really care what your opinion is because this is my video. You can dislike it if you don't agree with it. You can like this video if you agree, if you agree with it. So anyway, let's get this video started. So um, ever since quarantine started, I've been listening to a lot of albums. So I'm here to rank all of those albums that I have listened to. But before we start, I'm going to explain my ranking system. So 10 out of 10 means S tier. 8, 8 to 9 out of 10 means A tier, 7 out of 10 means B tier, 5 to 6 out of 10 means E tier, 3 to 4 out of 10 means D tier, 1 to 2 out of 10, 10 means E tier, and finally 0 out of 10 means F tier. So now I am going to start reviewing and ranking the albums that I have listened to. <clears throat> Now, I am going to review St. Louis to Liverpool. So, um, I listened to this album because of Pulp Fiction and Tarantino movies, obviously. And this was also the first album that I finished listening to. So, um, here are my thoughts on it. Um, this entire album just grabs your entire attention. And none of the songs are, are boring nor terrible. Go Bobby Socks it was the only song that I didn't like because it was basically just a copy of uh, Johnny Be Good. But other than that, this is a, it's a great album. And I think everybody should listen to this album. So I'll give this album a 9 out of 10, which is an A tier. <clears throat> now, I am going to review Illmatic. Illmatic is one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time. No, no, let me correct myself. Elmatic is the greatest hip-hop album of all time. Um, this album is an example of how great rap can be. This was actually the first hip-hop album that I listened to and, well, finished. So I would recommend this album to anyone who would start, who would want to start listening to hip-hop. All of the songs here are amazing. New York State of Mind and The World Is Yours are both of my favorite songs on this album. And New York State of Mind is probably my favorite hip-hop song of all time. The rhythm and the beat of all of the songs in this album are just amazing. The lyrics of the songs in this album are also beautiful. The album even gets better when you learn that Nas made this album when he was 19. 19. So anyway, I think there should be a 5 foot 6 inch statue of Nas put in every elementary classroom. Oh. And I guess this album gets a 10 out of 10, which is an S tier, I guess. Now, I am going to review To Pimp a Butterfly. To Pimp a Butterfly was the first Kendrick Lamar album that I listened to. And I absolutely love this album. All of the songs on this album are bangers and are amazing. The beats, rhythm, and melody of the songs in this album are all great, and I like how there's a jazz band in most of the songs. This album deals with you uh, deals with topics like racism, materialism, oppression, and self-love. The, the message of this album is that apparently Tupac reminds Kendrick about the responsibility he has towards the young people today. To inspire them to change the world, so they can be as free as a butterfly, just like him. And that's why I love this album. Um, anyway, I don't think there should be a statue of him at every elementary school, but I do think there should be a two or three eight foot five inch statues of him located somewhere in Hawaii. Oh, and um, someone gets a 10 out of 10, which is an S tier, yes. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to review Man Villainy. Gotta say, Man Villainy is one of the most important albums in underground rap history. The, uh, the songs in this album are amazing. The story of this al that this album contains is weird, to say the least. That's all I have to say about it. There are tons of amazing songs here that inspire tons of rappers. I mean, people to start rapping. So, thank you, Mr. Doom. I hate your fan base, though, Mr. Doom. So, anyway, I think they should start selling one foot MF Doom action figures for $20. Um, that would be pretty cool, I think. Oh, 
And um, this album gets um, an, a 9 out of 10, I guess, which is, um, which is an 8 here. Now, I am going to review from under the cork tree. <laughs> I gotta be rude with you guys. Um, I forgot I even listened to this album, but um, I'm pretty sure I listened to this album while I was doing my exam. But I do remember like three or four songs from this album that I liked. Um, Sugar We're Going Down was an amazing song. I remember listening to this song for one week straight. And it's even one of my most favorite songs of all time. I thought Dance Dance was, a, was an incredible song. Um, our lawyer made us change the name of this song so you wouldn't get sued. It's such a funny title and, uh, and, and also a great song. But pretty much most of the songs on this album are just decent, I guess. I don't remember listening to them. Um, I would give this album a 7 out of 10, which is an A tier. I mean, a B tier. Now I'm going to review straight out of Compton. <coughs> and this might be a controversial opinion, but I had such high hopes for this album because people were talking about this album like it was the sequel to the Bible. Turns out, this album was more like another book added to the Fly Guy series. So, I'm going to compare Straight Outta Compton, an album that is considered to be one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time, to Fly Guy, a children's book. I used to read Fly Guy a lot, but overall there were just like three good books in that series. Um, yeah. Straight Outta Compton is the same. It has three good songs, which are Gangster Gangster, Straight Outta Compton, and FTP. All of these songs are iconic. I love all of these songs. They're amazing. They're, hell, they're even one of my most favorite songs of all time. And the rest of the songs in this album are just mediocre. 7 out of 10. Guys, I am going to review The Circus by Eraserheads. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about The Circus by The Eraserheads. So, um, pretty much 50% of the songs on this album make me, make me feel like I'm some sort of depressed musician that is addicted to alcohol and cocaine who just recently broke up with someone. The other half of this album make me want to go to, on a road trip with all of my friends. So, um, I'm not saying that this album is terrible. No, no, no. In fact, it's my favorite album. I like this album a lot, actually. And, um, I think the rhythm, the lyrics, and the melody of all of the songs in this album are just beautiful, outstanding, and simply amazing. So, um, I really love this album. You guys should always give it a try, even if you don't understand the language. Um, there are also a lot of iconic Filipino songs on this album. And um, Punk Zappa is probably one of my most favorite skit tracks on any album to ever exist. So, yeah, you guys should totally, li so, yeah. you guys should, um, totally listen to this album. So, um, I would probably give this album a 10 out of 10, which is an S tier. <clears throat> I am going to review Titanic Rising's entire album. It's um, confusing and a beautiful album. This album makes me feel like I'm the uh, protagonist in some sort of, you know, drama, coming of age movie. And that's a compliment, you know? <clears throat> most of the songs in this album are uh, pretty good. I like them a lot. I like most of them. For the ones I didn't like, it was probably because they were just mediocre songs. Yeah, I would give this album um, an 8 out of 10, which is, you know, um, an 8 here. Now I am going to review Ready to Die. Okay, yeah, so this album makes me want to rob a bank while I'm stoned with the random rich fat guy and Dave Chappelle. Don't ask. Um, two of the songs in this album are some of the greatest hip-hop songs of all time. It should be studied by future generations. Two of the songs in this album are like a dog screaming before it dies after it got shot with an arrow on the chest. That's the best way I can describe this album. Juicy and Gimme the Loot are some, and also Big Papa are some of the greatest hip hop songs of all time. All Ready to Die and Friend of Mine is some of the worst hip hop songs of all time. Look, I really love this album. I think it's amazing. It has like two bad songs. Um, yeah, I'll give, I'll, um, I'll give this album an 8 out of 10. Which is I'm eight. going to review Highway 61 Revisited. I am kind of ashamed to like this album, but here's my review anyway. Uh, it's an amazing album, I think. I love all of the songs, even if some of the songs are pretty long. 
Bob Dylan writes some of the greatest lyrics of all time and I absolutely adore it. The rhythm and the melody of the songs on this album are amazing. I think he deserved that Nobel Prize. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix, Hendrix and the Beatles are my favorite musician hippies of all time. So guys, anyway, here's my 100 page essay on why hippies on counterculture are some of the greatest things to ever exist. Oh, and this album gets a 10 out of 10. Shannon, which is an S tier. I am going to review history, past, present, and future. Yeah, this album is beautiful. You know, I like it a lot. Even though MJ has certainly done some shady things in the past, but gotta admit, it makes some great songs. If you wanna start listening to Michael Jackson, you know, I would recommend this album. This album is pretty much just a deluxe Hicks album, and combined with an amazing album. Everybody should listen to this album at least once. It's beautiful. And the songs here were terrible, and they were all great. 10 out of 10, which is an S tier. Anyway, I think there should be a 25-foot MJ sketch. Now I am going to review Good Kid, Mad City. You know, I love this album a lot, you know? It makes me feel like some sort of a smart troublemaker. Most of the songs are amazing, and I love them. Kendrick Lamar is one of the best new school rappers. Actually, no, he is the best new school rapper. Just keeps making such bangers of an album, but sadly, he hasn't made an album for four years now. I'm expecting his latest album to release this year, or 2022. I hope. I love the people Kendrick collaborated with to make such an amazing album. This album was great overall, and I still can't believe this album lost to Macklemore for some reason. I still don't know why this album gets a 9 out of 10 it's an 8 tier i am going to review sergeant pepper's lonely heart clubs band so um you know i like this album a lot it's a pretty good album i think people should listen to it i like the beatles they're a pretty good band um john lennon's a pretty good singer yeah this uh this album also spawned one of the most iconic beatles album i mean song of all time the cover on this album is also really iconic. I love this album a lot. It's amazing. I um, love it. I feel like, I feel like the Beatles and you should totally listen to this album. Or Rock. It's a pretty good album. Everybody should listen to it. Also, if you want to know what this album makes you feel like, it makes you feel like I'm a depressed home builder on drugs. That is also a lot better. Anyways, I like this album a lot. Um, I would possibly give it a 9 out of 10 just because I find some of the lyrics unusual and weird. But yeah, either way, it's, this album's a 9 out of 10, which is um, just an 8 here. Yeah, good album. I'm going to review Talking Book. So, uh, I'm going to review Talking Book, and I gotta say, some of the songs here are pretty forgettable. Sounds pretty good, um, but not that good. Um, yeah, I like this album, but yeah, I don't know, man. Superstitious. Wow, that is such a great song, though. That's like one of the greatest Stevie Wonder songs of all time. I mean, it is one of the greatest Stevie Wonder songs of all time. You gotta admit, I like this album, but um, there were some bad songs on this album that I did not like. Also, My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Now I'm going to review my dark twisted fantasy. To be honest, 
I think it's a great album. It's a really good album, actually. I love this album a lot, you know. It's it's amazing. I love Kanye West's old albums. Kanye West may now sing some pretty retarded things now. I don't know what happened to him. But he got to admit, he makes some pretty good albums back then. And I like this album a lot. It's a pretty good album, you know. Um, yeah. And everybody should listen to this album once in their lifetime. I like this album a lot. It's You can tell it's made by Kanye West because it, it feels really weird, but I also like it at the same time. Yes, and um, don't take the weird thing I just said as an insult. Um, that wasn't an insult to Kanye West's album. But if you want to know what this album makes me feel like, to be honest, I don't really know as well this album is a confusing and weird masterpiece i'm going to give this album a 10 out of 10 which is an s tier hey guys so now i'm going to rank all of these albums so um first of all uh nwa is obviously um nwa is going to be um b tier yeah and um how is someone revisited is s tier st louis to liverpool is a tier Circus is obviously S tier, some of the greatest albums of all time. Uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is S tier. Pretty good album. From Under the Core Tree is B tier. Illmatic is S tier. To Pimp a Butterfly is S tier. Good Kid Mad City is A tier. Mad Villain is A tier. Ready to Die is A tier. Titanic Rising is A tier. Talking Book is B tier. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band is A tier. And History, Past, Present, and Future is S tier. Hmm. So, um, this, this video took a while to make. Um, uh, I started making this album, I mean, video, at around March 30. Um, I didn't think it would be a good idea, but here I am now. And I think it's a pretty good idea. I like this video, and I had tons of fun making it. I hope you guys like this video as well, though. Um, it's a pretty good video, I think, because well, it's made by me, so obviously I think it's pretty good. I want to know what your opinion on this video is. Just comment down below, and maybe, and if you liked it, then give it a like, and subscribe to my channel if you would like to. If you didn't like it, then you can dislike. I don't really care. That's about it for this video, guys. See ya!